This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. I feel by telling people to, like, stay out of school that, like, Mr. T is going to have, like, a really big problem with this. Oh, please. I'm not talking about people that don't fucking matter anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Corner gas God. and Mr. T on the same <laughs> show. Oh, Matt, Matt is writing Fuck checks we can't Matt. cash. I love Mr. T. He's great. Everyone loves Mr. T. Pork yeah. chop sandwiches. Fuck, we're all dead. I am not going to in any way add Mr. T to the shit list. It's just no. not going to happen. No one wins. I don't have a death wish, first of all. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I would pity you. <laughs> if, uh, you know, you know. Notice, I'm not afraid of fool. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Fuck that no. guy. No, <laughs> that was my brackets. Fuck yeah. that guy. That was the threshold. But Mr. T, I've got real yeah. fear. Yes, true fear of Mr. T. I don't think either of them would hurt a fly. Probably not. Well, Dog the Bounty Hunter. He is literally a bounty hunter. Uh, was Skip Tracer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he must. Like I wonder how much he likes the Mandalorian. <laughs> no rock say it a fanny good day. I am the money changer, Dab Callus. <sighs> you know, wish to exchange uh, some foreign coin for the money of Tana or or what? I Today, mean look at my goddamn Today face. Iraq was phoning at it. <laughs> Hello You greet the money changer. Ah, may you have a good day as well, Effendi. <laughs> he still hasn't uh, mastered the script, has he? <laughs> no, not yet. He'll get there. <laughs> yes, change my money for me, sir. Two hundred dinars. We will exchange them to royals. Katir Kairak Manumnum Effendi. Many thanks. <laughs> Just phoning it all the way in. <laughs> That's his character. <laughs> I've decided. The gold coin of Tarna is called a royal. The brass coin is called a common. These are the coins of the realm. <laughs> <laughs> a royal is worth of the dinar of Shapir. Or, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah, I said that right. That's weird. I, there's, I, I think there's supposed to be... there. There's usually a number there. I'm not sure... Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Well, uh, there are more than a hundred commons to one royal. If yeah, that makes sense, though, right? The irony <laughs> of it is, it is pretty much a commentary on uh, the caste structure in this city. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Tell me it's... about exchanging. I will trade foreign money for the money of Tarna. For this, I must charge a fee of ten percent of the amount exchanged. I also will trade 100 commons for one royale. Royal. Fuck. That is how I remain relevant later on in the game if you ever wish to come back to me. <laughs> hey, hey, Google, how many royals for Atana? <laughs> oh, shit. This is, actually, this sorry, is really Google reminding me of up. the uh, Box Factory episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> Rumors. Hmm. They say that there is a tremendous inflation in Silmaria and that exchange rate has bottomed out for the Mold Mordavian. What the hell? Guys, what is a Mordavian? Is that just a thing? Um, Mord number four. Mordavian coinage since no one can travel in or out of the country now. Oh, you got COVID. Oh, you mean local rumors. Sorry, I have not heard any today. Real whopper yesterday, but you don't get to hear that one. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not a rumor anymore. <laughs> the ship has sailed on that one. <laughs> I am most well offendy, thank you. I was once the money changer of Racier, but when Ad Avis took over, I moved with my family to Tarna. We are most happy here. Can't you tell with my ha 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 ha? Look ha, at ha, my ha. fucking face. <laughs> yes, let's tell him about Shapir. Oh, man, I, I'm the Prince of Shapir. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, kind I'm of a pretty a big, big deal, deal over there. There's some pretty crazy shit in Shapir, I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's probably shit. since you left, so, you know, it might be before your time, or a little after your time. You know? 
<laughs> it is good to hear such news of Shapir. My family and I moved here many years ago from Razor Ear. I don't know if I told you that already. Uh, Why? Okay, see ya. May you yeah. fare well, Effendi. Uh, hmm. But. Uh, this guy's doing Tai Chi? Oh my god. Jumbo. <laughs> Hubba jumbo, blah, blah. <laughs> Is that Goro before he gained two more arms? <laughs> <laughs> you greet the leather worker. His <laughs> 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 love his face. <laughs> like uh, Goro before he gained two arms. <laughs> I just, every time you don't talk to me, he like, starts doing touchy. I have many number lives <laughs> and leather items for sale, as you can see. No one sees. <laughs> what is the I, price of your goods? The price I charge will depend on the <laughs> item. That's the most reasonable answer to that question, too. Five what are your prices? Of eight. Depends on what you're going to buy. Why don't you tell me about your other hidden arms? <laughs> <laughs> tell the me rumors. about leather. <laughs> I make things. From leather and take Oh my god, yeah. Goro is a fucking haberdasher. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get ourselves an extra water skin. We're gonna bargain that shit down. Let's start at 190 and see uh, see how that goes. Give him two coins. <sighs> it is good. Sweet. He nods in response. You pay for it and put it away in your pack. Awesome. He looks like Let's a fat also Pete. bargain is zebra skin. We're going to bargain it down a full 20%. He looks like a fat Pete Postlethwaite. Missouri <laughs> Buana, it is good. Rest in peace. I love that guy. Rest, you, yeah, you pay for it and stick it in your fucking pack. <laughs> yeah, you fucking, <laughs> you fucking take it already. Bye, dude. Goodbye, yellow haired prince. If you are here, if you're ever thinking of leather. Oh, oh, <laughs> the finest fruit. Does your mouth not crave the sweet juices of passion fruit, if <laughs> Nak Saeed Fendi! May you have a fruit for dinner! <laughs> Enough! Yeah, tell me. Tell me about your fruit! Oh my god, I'm fucking crazy! Ah, what fruit do you desire? All that you could ever wish! I have here! I can't work! Pinapples! Pajayos! <laughs> Yes, young fruit, <laughs> coconuts, and limbs, bananas that taste on the uglies. Oh my but god! It's it your heart delight. Fucking hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> what are your prices? Oh, the geez. price of the fruit <laughs> is a mere puppets compared to the pleasure the fruit gives. A six fruit to your choice, but the physical. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's like a fucking It's like Bobcat Goldthwait on meth <laughs> It was like S- Slowpoke Rodriguez on some sort of <laughs> Oh my fucking god Spinto Madonna is going to war With the Simone Very bad for business it's like Randy Quaid's latest video on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> this, my whole uh, waveform is just redlining. Oh, I bet it is. <laughs> oh, God, worth it. Way worth back. it. I am Sombra! <laughs> <laughs> he choked himself on his name. <laughs> let, me get, let me just get the rest of that. I am Sombra! <laughs> the cell of succulent sensation! For the most I think it's his. I think it's his fucking portrait mixed with Matt's audio that is the most hilarious combination. <laughs> mm, well, how about 40, 
45. Like, <laughs> he looks really timid and unsure and then <laughs> just screaming. <laughs> you will make me a poor man! <laughs> will you enjoy my fruit? Oh my god. Shit. A thousand thanks. I don't know you enjoy each delicious bite of your purchase. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pay for it and put it away. Oh wow, that's the that, that that's all downhill from here, guys. There is there isn't a part of me that isn't bleeding right now. I know. <laughs> every, I, I really hope orifice. there's a sleepover going on at your house right now. No, no. Oh god, is there? No, just sleeping kids. Oh, sleep. <laughs> the children need a new weapon. A fish, oh, a fish. One. Just right. Where For did you. that fish go? Here is the finest of daggers. It is too made of Damascus steel. It too is sharper than a serpent's tooth. It is small enough to be concealed in your sleeve. To be ready when your foliest expects it. <laughs> I have, without a doubt, the best weapons to sail in all of Tarnal. If you will be needing a weapon, I am the man you should see. <laughs> Come, take a look, and buy what you like. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome. What weapon can I sell you today? Tell me about your weapons. Uh, I have weapons of all types. <laughs> I look around. Whatever interests you, I will be most overjoyed to sell to you. How about Tell me about your spear. What about the spears? I have many spears to offer you. The standard spear is the most trusty weapon and can be very useful for hunting. <laughs> I also have a fine spear for those special occasions like formal weddings and ritual monster killings. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, damn. I have two types of daggers to fill the needs of most expert tiger users. I have throwing daggers for damage at a distance, perfectly balanced and sharpened. They are made by the Amana tribe. Oh, Amanra. the Amani. Yeah, the Amani tribe. <laughs> I also have a very fine dagger for when combat gets too close for comfort. Mm, here, I hear you. <clears throat> I have a strong bow and made by the Lara tribe. I can make you a good deal on a Lara bow. Mm. <laughs> the deck is a Vamanra. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well done. Finally Coles. got it. Finally got well it. Done, well, done, well done, Coles. Uh, well done. Solid. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Um, solid. Mm -hmm. Solid. I have some Conquest brand arrows in stock. Mm, Unfortunately, the they are only for the longbow. Fart, fart, fart. Very, uh, very subtle Sierra mm. game references, too. Yeah. It is, yeah, like, it's not, like, yeah. Tell me about your shards. Have you ever seen a lovelier sword? So delicately balanced, so smooth and fine. This is a weapon for heroes. I guarantee you, you will fuck it at some point. <laughs> I guarantee you. Jesus Christ. I guarantee it. Put a rubber stopper on the end. Uh, this is the finest place to be in all of Tana. You can buy anything you need in the Grand Bazaar of Tana. <laughs> Am I stepping on any toes if I ask to do the next character? No, please. <laughs> I right. mean, yes. But, okay, I won't. I won't. It is being said that you come to Tana by magic and you are the son of a mighty king. But like I said, my throat is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept probation for another month. I'm sorry. I am called Fanaka Kisu. You will be most pleased if I can sell you a new weapon. Enough! Enough already! I'm gonna buy all your shit. Whoa, How about all of 12 it? for a dagger? I would be losing more money than I would earn for such a price. My friend, make me another offer. <laughs> this is me bargaining. I will starve at such a price, however, since you are a most excellent customer. <laughs> I will listen to your next offer. We haven't bought anything from him at all. Fourteen. So be it. Your bargain beyond my skills. 
and I am overwhelmed. The deal is now yours. It is good. You are happy. I am happy. We have done well. What, we're going to buy everything. We are totally going to buy everything. Oh, man. Blah, blah, no. Blah, blah, no. All right. Gonna bargain that shit down. Yeah, I get some throwing daggers. Just buy one to replace the one that I lost in the back of that other guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we didn't um, we didn't re- uh, reset the game, did we? We just continued with it. We just went. Yeah, we went with it. Yeah, no, I, I actually thought that I was gonna get punished for uh, throwing that dagger at the dude. So I was wrong. Mm, Usually, nice. you just like go in run mode and chase after him, and right. you get. You don't get that sort of like admonishment of like you broke the law, except he's lost his honor, so he's not a person. So mm, you didn't break mm. the law because you just threw a dagger at a thing. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. <clears throat> it is good. Peace out. Peace <laughs> out. Peace. <laughs> All um, right. So Lewis has requested to do the next one. Uh, so I don't, my question hey, hey, to look, you: look, I don't want to. Br- I don't want to upset the balance. Can you do? A uh, Sanford and Sons. What the hell? Impression. I don't even know what oh, they are. Oh shit! Oh, well, I'm out. I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to do the oil salesman then. Oh, wing it. Do the wing oil it. Salesman. Oh, there you go. Oil, Sahib. Oil of all types and uses. Make your hair stay out of your eyes with oil. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Hi. Hi. It would be a good day for me only if you'd buy some oil, Effendi. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> <right>. Enough! <laughs> I, I have fine virgin olive oil for any use you might have, mate. If you know what I mean. If you're in it's not going to be thing. a virgin when you're done with it. Go yeah. Use you it for cooking? whatever you like. The bazaar is a good place to talk with merchants and buy oil. <laughs> we really love oil. Uh, We're all about yeah. oil. I have heard that the king of Tana wants us to go to war in order to drive all the humans away from the city forever. Can you fucking oh, yeah. believe it? I, I <laughs> know. I, uh, yeah, I can. Tell me about yourself. Well, I am Zutuni Bindun, and I can't even pronounce my own name. May I sell you some oil? Look, that's my whole thing. Oil is my life. Yeah, sure. I'll buy some fucking oil. You want to play? You want me to pay a hundred for that? How about I wake it? up and all I think about is oil. Very well. You have outbargained me, and I shall remain a poor man forever. You should fucking feel terrible. I'm I, I'm sad that I didn't. May invest. you slide easily and quickly through life, Effendi. In other words, die. Wow, <laughs> he's an asshole, all right. Yeah, yeah. You pay for it and put it in your pack. Oh my God! You say goodbye to the oil. Do guy. not think you could use some more oil before you leave, Effendi. Look, oil, everything, oil. You're really all about the oil. I like to slip and slide my way through life. Maybe you don't Things are just trouble. better when you lubricate. Yeah, lubricate everything, buddy. <laughs> and, and you sit. <laughs> uh, All right, that's my time. Episode. Done and my dash. I've done my time. dash. Before we, uh, before we close up for the night, though, uh, why don't we uh, answer one more question yes. for Glory? Because we have a Very backlog. Good. Wow, that's question good to know. for Glory! Glory. Glory, glory. Oh, thank glory. you, thank you guys. In the previous quest for glory, you spent hour after hour diligent. This is from Citizen Scribbler, by the way. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hour after hour, diligently training your fighting skills, preferring mm-hmm. to raise your stats instead of sleeping the days away. Yep. You spoke of this many times. The I pride did. of the work ethic of a true hero. Mm-hmm. It was inspiring. Mm. However, at the end of the game, you seem to rely instead on your thieving skills, which you had not trained, mm. necessitating an artificial boost. In stats wow. To I love goal. this. They've totally analyzed not us. Not wrong. I trust in you. So I trust that this was the most glorious way to go about things, though I cannot fathom why. Please explain. 
why this strategy was wow. so ideal. I, I absolutely love that this person's analyzed our whole mytholo- methodology through the last game. It's, <clears throat> a, it's a great question. I have, mm. uh, I have a twofold answer for mm-hmm. your question. Number one, uh, the, well, the reason why we went the thief route or the reason why we went and got the, uh, Maltese Falcon or the, the Black Raven or whatever it's called, um, is that it's content that we missed or we would have missed if we didn't do it. Um, and I just didn't find enough opportunity while I was uh, playing through the game. I should probably have spent more time picking locks and stealthing around the city in Shapir. That is, uh, you know, um, that is admitted, but there's just the game just doesn't give you a lot of opportunity to be a thief, especially since I missed that first day of thieving in uh, in Quest for Glory 2. Second mm. answer, um, harem ending. It's just <laughs> it's the most fun ending. Mm. Like uh, they're the other uh, all all three, I guess, technically, if you count Paladin as one of the endings, um, basically just have you go through the front door, fight a couple of guards. Um, knock out Kavine and then go through the door and fight at Avis. And you don't get that entire, um, like Benny Hill sequence <laughs> at the very end that you do, that you get if you play the Thief's ending. So, uh, we went with that one. That's a good, that's a good answer, Luke. I'm, so, I'm, yeah, I'm uh, it is, it was the most glorious because it <clears throat> was, uh, cause we are entertainers. And so we need to entertain first and foremost in order to maintain our glory. That was well thought out, yeah, well explained, yeah. and yes. uh, yeah. and totally bullshit. And also wrong, also completely wrong. Pretty but much, we, we just winged it. Yeah, you. It's because no, the most glorious choice. path involves taking what you can and giving nothing back. Mm. <laughs> you know who'd agree with that? It begins with a T, and you don't like him. <laughs> Todd the Bounty Hunter. Yes, Tom Todd. Todd. Todd, his <laughs> Todd brother. Todd the Bounty Hunter. Todd, his brother, Todd the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, I hate that guy. He takes everything. And, Car- and Carter. Yeah. Oh, and Carter, the, mate. The encyclopedia? The, the, the encyclopedia. That's people. how you knew things in 1995. Fuck them. <laughs> They're on the shit list. <laughs> <laughs> We're declaring war on Encarta. Fuck Netscape you, Encarta. Navigator. <laughs> Oh Shit god, list. Matt's just Matt's just arbitrarily choosing old has been fucking platforms. Yeah, Matt is <laughs> declaring war on things that can't fight back. Yeah. That is you're the already true... dead, so I'm gonna kick you in the ribs. <laughs> the guy who played Greg on Dharma and Greg. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Gibson. Wow, I can't believe I pulled that out of my ass. Yeah, but we love Jenna yeah. Alfman though. Jenna Alfman right. is yeah, but not. We would also Jen- like to declare war on every currency that no longer exists. I would like to note, by the way, that uh, we have an Instagram page. We don't use it, uh, but the Instagram notifications come to my email. Um, And I regularly get updates about Jenna Elfman in my email. Nice. (laughs) Because because, when we started our Instagram account, the first thing we did was follow Jenna Elfman. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, years later... Uh, they're still convinced that I really want to know what Jenna Elfman is up to. There will come do. a day we when do. Jenna Elfman is on the show, but it is My not God. this day. No. Jenna, if you're listening, and I know you are, because <laughs> we know you're a I fan. I know what kind of relationship we have. <laughs> we here at Level Zero, we think the world of you, and um, I don't know what your relationship is with Tommy these days. <laughs> but I just want to let you know he's on the shit list. And yeah. <laughs> the only way he's getting off of there is if you say no. If you say no, we'll take it off. Deny him. But until then, fuck Thomas Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> if that is really his name. Yeah. Fake guy. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. I need to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> with his pic- with my with picture. With my sword of General and my Fum. oil. <laughs> with my, my with my oil and my picture of Jenna Elfman <laughs> and my fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy was my favorite part of the show. It's true. Oh. So far, we have bought leather, fruit, oil, and a sword, and a really sexy sword.
Now Jesus that's... Christ, yeah, this is a BDSM market, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. is. Sounds like a pretty good Thursday night. If you <laughs> <me>. <laughs> it's not a weekend. Yeah. That's a Thursday no, night you're no, talking no, about right there. Night. Yeah. Oh. All right, thanks, everybody. Uh, stay, uh, stay, stay. Just stay. Just stay. Just stay. Right. Lisa Loeb. And thanks, Citizen Scribbler, for that fucking awesome question. Yeah, wow. You are yeah, such a amazing And question. to our viewers... Are you going to edit this out? I am. I'm going to edit it all out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. <clears throat> Bye, everybody. <laughs> it's just going to be like a moment of silence. Yes, and then and it's we'll, like, I'm going to edit it out. You need, Bye, you, everybody. you need to leave the, I'm going to edit it all out. Part. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. For sure. <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to get rid of it all in post. It's surrounded with censorship beeps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. Bye, everyone. And people Cheer- are going to wonder cheerio. why. Bye, everyone. Hide in my. Fucking right, man. <laughs>